welcome back to my channel this is motherhood journey with empress hi hey guys how are you doing as a family is everything and today if you are seeing my face and coming across this channel for the first time you are so welcome and i celebrate you do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video on this channel and today i'll be talking about the third episode of sex education what to tell your children about sex education this is the third episode we've done episode one and episode two episode one we talked about sex education talking to your toddler or your preschooler which is age zero to two years and also the second episode which is age two to five years talking to your uh, talking to your children um about the stage of early childhood which is age two to five years don't forget to check up all those stages if you are yet to check them up and here yeah, today we'll be going to the third episode which is middle childhood which is age five to eight years toddlers and preschoolers are often satisfied with any answer you've given to their question about where baby comes from or what are view about sex education but school age children tend to ask more specific questions about the connections between sexuality and making babies so you need to give them full details on what they've asked for so now age five to eight years at the onset we've established um the penis and the vagina then their bum bum but because they are now advanced so you have to advance in whatsoever you'll be telling them let them know that the boy have penis testis scrotum anus and let them know that the girls have the vulva the labia minora and majora the vagina, the clitoris, the uterus, and the ovaries. You know, you can also show this to them with a diagram. This will help them to know more about their sexual part and their private part. To have some knowledge of internal organs, which is the uterus, ovary, fallopian tubes, urethra, bladder, and the bowel, you need pictures to show them what it looks like. And where it is being located also you need to inform them that body comes in different shapes sizes and color this is influenced by their ethnicity um, their parents and so on and so forth both boy and girl have body parts that may feel good when it is being touched when to be able to look after their own they need to be able to look after their own body their private parts air teeth and skin now they can take their baths by themselves so they need to take proper care of their body and also the last thing about their bodies is them being able to say no to anything they don't want like telling other party tell them to stop whenever they are touching their parts where they don't want them to be touched informing them about at this stage is that their body will soon change because there are some child, especially ladies, that changes when they are eight years old. Eight year child begins to menstruate. So you need to inform them about what puberty is. When they get body changes, how puberty is is a time of physical and emotional changes. If they want to know what the changes are, they can ask you what are the changes, then you can tell them as time. Also, you need to let them know more about sexual intercourse now. You know, they've asked where the baby comes from at the early stage. Now you need to let them inform them that it takes a man's sperm that joins with a woman ovum that usually um, happens during sexual intercourse that leads to baby. So that also that baby are made from sperm, which is a part of the man that comes from the penis, which when finds its way through the vagina to meet the egg it grows to become a baby like i used to say you need to stress it that adults have sex and that is natural and normal it's an elder part of life but it is mainly for adults that adults often kiss or touch each other the love or care about but especially for adults 
Remind them of how the tree reproduce. It starts from a seed. A seed can reproduce another seed. So it has to wait for years for it to grow. When it begins to grow, for it to grow taller, for it to grow bigger. Then when it's matured, that is when it can produce seed. So they need to wait for the duration of those times to grow, to mature before they start producing their own seed. Now, sexual behavior. You need to discuss about masturbation because some boys at this stage, they are having air in their pubic area and they feel like touching it. When they touch it, they feel good and this might lead them to, to the onset of masturbating. So you need to inform them about masturbation and how it is. They can get addicted to it, which is very bad. And their body can feel good when they are being touched because they have some hormones running in their system right now that some pictures people some people look at pictures and get aroused that whenever they come in contact with such pictures on social media or with their friends they should they should avoid them and they should be able to say no they are not interested you should also explain to them that there are different sexual orientations such as they are heterosexual they are homosexual and they are also bisexual and on this, you should also discuss what love is. Because at this stage, they get more drawn to the opposite sex. So let them know that love means having deep and warm feelings for yourself and others. People can experience different types of love. Let them know about agape love, family love. Just explain to your own understanding. You can also read more about that. You can also tell them that people express love in different ways. Maybe... Um, to their parents, to their family, and to their friends. Also, briefly tell them what dating is. Dating is when two people are emotionally attracted to each other and they like to spend time with each other. Also, you can also discuss about friendship because at this stage, you hear them telling, telling you that this person is my friend, this person is my friend. So you inform them about friendship. You can have many friends and you can also have few friends. You can have different types of friends. But make sure that you have a friend of like mind, a trustworthy friend that obeys their parents. Friends can be angry with each other and at the same time be friends. Let them know that friends spend each other to grow themselves and to nurture themselves. Help them to understand that friends can hurt each other's feelings, but they still come together to be friends. And also, friend depends on honesty. Friends can get older or younger, either be it male or female. And lastly, on family, you need to talk about your family. There are different types of family. Family can change over the time. Every member of the family have unique contributions to one another, and they have to take care of one another to make each other better. And lastly, on this, you need to discuss about personal skills. Everyone has the right to say no, that they don't want each other to be touched. So you need to tell them more about privacy, when nobody should touch, which is their private part, and where no word should see except them, and they should practice assertiveness, they should be positive about things, and they should be able to say no to any negativity, and practicing negotiation skills to resolve problems and conflicts between friends, and it's okay to ask for help whenever they need one. They should learn to communicate with different people in different ways, and that will help them to be a better person yeah i hope you've learned one or two things from this video today if you have don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up kindly share with family and friends and do not forget to drop a comment down there at the comment section lastly if you want me to film any video drop that also at the comment section and don't forget to tell someone about mother would journey with empress ciao